In this problem, you will need to bring the data into Jump and make a few small changes. Start by clicking the icon here to get the data. Next, click right here and click Copy to Clipboard. Now, you'll want to change it to Tab Deliminated. Now, on a PC, press Ctrl-C. On a Mac, press Command-C. Once you have the data copied, you can close out these windows and go into Jump. Open up a new data sheet in Jump by going to File, New, Data Table. When you get to the new data sheet, don't click inside of it, but press Edit, Paste with Column Names. It's important that you see it ordered this way, with two red and then two blue. Next, we are going to change heat to a nominal variable. This will change the way it analyzes the variable, and if you don't make this change, you will get a scatter plot when you try to do your two sample t-test. Next, if we want to remove outliers, we can go to analyze distribution. We will do by heat and then put in time to analyze as the y variable. Next, we can stack these so we can properly see where the outliers are. There is only one outlier. Select the outlier by clicking or putting a box around it, and then go over to Rows, Hide and Exclude. It's important to note that you might have to go back to your original window if you don't have a Rows button inside of this window. Now, we can perform the two-sample t-test. To perform the two-sample t-test, make sure first that you have your outlier hidden and excluded. You'll notice it is hidden and excluded. Now, go to Analyze, Fit Y by X. Under Analyze Fit Y by X, we want to use heat as our X variable and time as our Y variable. When we click OK, we see the data and the two distributions. Now to perform the two sample t-test, simply click the red arrow and go to t-test. Down below, we get the output for the two sample t-test showing us both the two-sided alternative and the one-sided alternatives. The two-sided alternative for my test is 0 